So I hopped on last night to do a little bit of terraforming and Zine was on and he gave me some good pointers as well as his chat helping me out with it. This is what the island looks like so far. So the general consensus was the slope that I had not only didn't look natural, but also was way too much of a slow gradient and everything was predictable, especially for the height that the plateau was at around the sides. It didn't really make sense of how slowly it looped down right here and nowhere else. So I tried, um, I tried to make like a more inclined slope here and also incorporate stone more into the entire plateau. Uh, I've got this going on here because I'm probably going to be changing up how this looks a little bit. I haven't gone to this side of the island, but I was trying to blend it in a little bit in the meantime. And this is what it looks like from the outside that I've redone. Zine was mentioning, uh, let's see, too, uh, Discord, hold on, hold on, hold on. Zine was mentioning that the way I was doing stone originally was a little bit predictable. I like the way this is going significantly more than before. I know I'm going to need a lot of time to get past the foundation point, but in terms of the starting point, I like this a lot better than what I had before. And I think the island would look incredible if I could do this for the entire thing. That's a lot of terraforming, though. But I got the time of it. Abe. 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 Hello? Abe. <laughs> you weren't joining, so I went to go get water. You left me. I went to you get left water me you after weren't all joining. of that. You took so long to join. You know what? Oh, so I'm not allowed to take my time to look pretty. Oh. Well, no, because you always look pretty. Are you saying that I shouldn't wear what I'm wearing right now? No, you should take it all off, as a matter of fact. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. <laughs> I finished uh, all of my relics, by the way. You have a full so eight? Plus four minutes. Oh my yep. god. Was that by trading with other people? Yeah. Honestly, I really didn't trade that many pieces. Frail. Challenge dig sites. Do I feel like getting bombed by a tier two creeper? Hmm. Can you survive it? I don't think I will. <laughs> I don't think I will. I've never had one explode on me yet. Actually, maybe I'll try. You're a brave man. I do have a shoveling pick for this purpose. And I did accidentally come in here with my frog trinket. Frog trinket? What is the that? step up one. Uh... I stopped using it in vaults when it had like four uses left because I told myself I need to give this a cushion if I accidentally run vaults with it and. Yeah, it's got There's two one. uses at the moment. <laughs> There's one. Oh, because you want to use it in the overworld. Yeah, if I lose yeah, that in the yeah, overworld, yeah. I'm probably spending four platinum on it. Yeah, yeah, that's probably right. Okay. I don't know where the spawners are supposed to be, but this room is literally not possible. Yeah, I don't even bother with that room. Oh, I found that a spawner. Room that room and the um, the factory room, I feel like, are just not good. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna play it out, and I might die here, but it's okay because I know that Abe will save me if anything bad happens. Oh yeah, absolutely. There are not as many chests down here as I originally thought there was. Is it basically like the same amount of chests as the non-challenge one? I haven't.
haven't gotten that one. Like, outside of maybe the first day when I didn't have an ability to actually dig through it in time. I'm like split. I'm sprinting through this wall looking for obelisks. I can't find any. I'll start looking for some when I'm done with this. Yo. I wonder if the meta of this is to like dig under one spot and just stay below the sand because it doesn't fall on top of you. Like the top stays closed in. Hmm. I was watching the uh, Jingle Jam broadcasts. Were you checking that out from last night? No. Jingle Jam? Yeah, the uh, event that oh. Harry was there. The access. Uh, I was very busy yesterday. Was that yesterday? Yeah, it was like this morning. Uh, yeah, I saw him testing out like all the crazy stuff like uh, yesterday. How, how, how'd it go? I think it went pretty well. Modifiers and everything look pretty sick. Um, one thing that I was listening in on was uh, Iscale talking about like the potion meta and stuff. And I think that they're going to be doing like their own approach to potions instead of just like the healing pot spam meta that we have. Yeah, I think it's pretty, it's pretty strong with the refill thing. Yeah, I don't really like it either. Because it kind of became like before bosses were a pretty decent challenge. Now, like, you pretty much guarantee to kill any boss that you run across with it. Yeah. Actually, I wonder if they started um changing it. Because for some reason, today I could not stack potions in my uh, thing. <laughs> That happened to me too. Yeah, the regular health potions that you lose yeah, weren't like stacking in my... Yeah, like it wouldn't stack in my... I was like, huh. I wonder if... The splash uh, ones stack in my bag, though. Yeah, the splash... The splash ones stack. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was odd. I wonder if it's just like a bug or if it's like intentional, you know? I'd have to imagine it's intentional, honestly. Yeah, it would make sense. I just did the puzzle room. I got five Omega pieces. What? You have a Pickering, I assume? Yeah. Damn. What the heck? You're going to be set on those. How many is the uh, Three. one in the middle asking for? Three. Three. Oh, I would never ask for three Omegas from you. You sure? If I was a puzzle room. I'd be I better. On you. <laughs> you know, 
with the amount that I got from this, I'm okay with it. Well, it did the room. Burned down an entire it? shoveling pickaxe worth of durability on it. <laughs> was it worth it? I don't know. Like, the chest seemed... Okay, I just... <sighs> what, did you, what did you even get from it? Bunch of regular chests. Oh. Catalyst? Maybe. X mark here. at times. No ornate chests for me. Did you find the X marks as one? Yeah, it wasn't your one. Oh, an elite spider. Oh, I don't really nice. want to level. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really want to get experience. That is how I've been feeling about running mods. At least until they put the balance updates out, I don't want another like level 20 to 29 incident for me. What's what, what, what incident? I found Dragon Room. Huh? I found Dragon Room. Dragon Room? Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Yeah, you're right. I didn't. No, you didn't. Ooh, paint bucket room. I ran through so many rooms with Hunter, and I did not find a single one. Dum. 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 Oh, what? Your oh, pick invisible. It's not working. The invisible. Why oh, is the pick not working? Oh, you gotta get a new one, man. The invisible block, man. Oh God. You need to talk to the dev about that. Is we text in your chat? Here we go. I voted zero. Get fucked. <laughs> That's three times in a row. Three. Three times in a row. All right. I got five. <laughs> it's just not fair, man. Why couldn't that be the echo, huh? I don't know, man. Oh, look, has to go somewhere. Yeah, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad it went to you, Pete. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad, you, I'm glad, I'm glad I got five for you. I got two. Oh. 
Well, would it have been cool if I got five though? No, no, not really. It, it really wouldn't have been that cool. It would have been, it would have been okay. It wouldn't have been that cool, you know, kind of whatever. If you think about it, two is like a backwards five, like a mirrored five. Oh god, that black opal. That could be used for a treasure key, and here I am. Ouch. Ouch. It's so expensive. Oh, it's so pricey. But I got it. I made it. Oh, it looks so beautiful. All right. Isn't that like loud as hell? Yeah, it's super loud. Super loud. I'm gonna burn some Gilded Chest Scrolls. Could I? What am I doing? I do that. How do you feel? About knowledge essence right now. Sure got a lot of it. I think I'm going to screw. I'm gonna. I'm gonna soul defuse all of my knowledge essence. Are you serious? I have so much knowledge shards. <laughs> Wait, how much knowledge do you have, and how many Benny do you have? Huh? Like, what's your knowledge to Benny ratio? I have 174 Benny right now. Okay. How much knowledge do you have? And like knowledge shards? Yeah. I have six, I have a little more than six stacks. I mean, like, you know, you could get some pretty nice stuff from the random <laughs> soul shard option. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dude. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm scrapping it all. I put all of my knowledge, knowledge essence inside of it. I am not looking forward to the patch notes. Wait, why? What's, what's going to be in the patch notes? I don't know. You've been kind of targeted in the patch notes lately. I'm assuming now they're going to do something with making knowledge <laughs> shards more valuable. I Maybe really you need knowledge targeted, shards huh? to make the vault potions. I really have been targeted, huh? I, like, I don't think it's a coordinated attack. I just think <laughs> coincidence breeds suspicion. Uh-huh. They also said no to my um, request to move the proficiency. <laughs> so I basically been double targeted. <laughs> Dude, that's so annoying. Oh. Pete. Me. Pete. I want I want your opinion on that. On what? So I asked them if I can move my 10% proficiency and shield to something else. Because literally, that is wasted, like, resources. No? But you did benefit from it before the... That is true. I did... Okay, thank I you, chat. get... A shield out of it, but I Thank feel you. like trading XQCL. 150 gold plus resources for an Omega shield is not really worth. I think you might just have to live with the past. <laughs> this <sighs> this only affects me though. <laughs> out of Nobody everyone else. on the server. <laughs> No, it literally only affects me because I'm the only one that had over a hundred percent, or like had to, had a hundred percent on two things. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's still early game, right? Like you got plenty of chests to loot, plenty of dragon rooms to find. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> I I don't think I'm gonna. I, I did the math on it. So on average, you're, you should you have point one percent per craft. Okay. So you would need a thousand, and uh, Iskal said that he expects someone to be a hundred percent proficiency in one thing by level sixty. 
So by level sixty, okay. So by level six, so right now we're at the halfway point because we're at level forty, right? And he said, and apparently it takes the same amount of time to get to level, get from level forty to sixty as it takes to get from level zero to forty. So we're at the halfway point before we hit sixty, essentially. Interesting. Okay. So, right by now, we should have been able to get enough resources to craft 500 pieces of gear. Which I don't think we have. You're right, that is false logic. Wait, actually, I just thought of something. Hmm. What happens? So, I started learning axes, right? Let's say, hypothetically, I get to 100% on chest plate and axes, right? Or let's say I'm trying to get 100% on chest plate and maxes, but you can only have 200% maximum. I have a random 10% on shields. So does that mean once I get to the 200% total, is it going to start taking like taking away proficiency randomly between my chest plate and shield if I'm doing axes? I'd be surprised if it was not a random like function to do it. So it, it hurts me even more then. <laughs> But that, literally see, that pitch to get more, that fixed no? is not going to go far because that's RNG. And you pitching to remove RNG from this pack is going to fall I'm on I'm not pitching ears. to remove RNG. I'm pitching to, you know. Well, no, but you're saying now, like, you want it fixed so that you don't have to deal with that RNG. But that Thus RNG removing would RNG. only apply to me. <laughs> it's still RNG. It only applies to me, though. I'm the only one that gets hurt by this change. RNG cannot be... You can't remove it. It's inevitable. No, Once not, RNG is I'm brought saying, into the world, I'm it has to be used somewhere. I am not saying to remove RNG. I'm saying the change of proficiency on our server only hurts me. Because I'm essentially losing... Babe? Hey. Huh? Oh, you were talking and then you just stopped. Oh, sorry. My, my finger got tired. <laughs> I think... You should talk to the devs. Wait, what? I think you should talk to the devs. You were an alpha tester. You deserve day one deals. And you should see what they think about you requesting to have your stuff reset. Well, no, but... Okay, so here's the thing, actually. Two realities exist one where your stuff stays the same the other where your entire proficiency data gets wiped which would you rather have i would rather them move the 10 percent to something else but what if that's not an option <laughs> honestly i would actually rather them just remove that 10 percent on the shield if that was my only option, I would rather them just remove that 10% completely. And I'll just say I just wasted um, 150 gold and whatnot, relatively. Hmm. I think that you should pitch these valid criticisms to Jordan. Uh -huh. I think he would I have... Some... I heard Jordan was uh, nerfed a lot. I think he'd have some choice season. words to extend to you. What, what choice words would he extend to me? Probably just how valid you are, and how if uh, he was in your shoes that he would be asking for the same. You know what, Jordan is my new favorite. I'll take I'll take a strong second to Jordan. What a nice noise. What a skill or for 18 hundo. Hey. Huh? What? I will see you on tomorrow. Are you getting off? I am. Okay. I've enjoyed my time I with you, though. I will see you tomorrow. Will you see me tomorrow, though? You promise you'll be on? I don't know. I'll have to think about it a little bit. At least, at least be on for me so I can have a VOD to watch. You take your days off, like, exactly when I take my days off. It's, 
It's actually God, we're assholes, huh? <laughs> we're really assholes. We we we're actually just planning this. We talk in DMs and we're like, hey, you taking today off? Cool. No, so, people aren't supposed to know this. Stop, 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 stop. The viewers, nah, fuck them. <laughs> Whoa! No, just that one guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's his name? I forgot his name already. Uh, just that guy. You know, probably probably the person that's thinking about it being them right now. You can use bad catalyst for avarice and phoenix. Um, no, that's regular catalyst. I don't know. I guess I could test it right now if a regular or if a infused vault catalyst works for avarice. Let's find out. We'll do living and trap because omega wall. Um, dreamstone. Does this work? Nope. Almost. Uh, all right. Do you? You should probably go in first. You probably have extra time, right? I do have five relics. I think. All right. I got zero. Let's go. Five of no scav. Uh, it's not. Oh man, dude, I've not gotten a scab in like the last four vaults. I wish the seals like were easier to craft, so that scabs were a little bit more in your control. But taking yeah, away this, an element of RNG, on a, I'm on a big, I'm on a big scav drought right now. Like usually they've they've hit more often, but eh, we'll see. We'll see. Do you prefer okay. scabs over kill a boss? I think so because I like can't actually kill the boss. <laughs> Have you tried soloing a boss? Yeah, I have. It's not gone well. Wow, this is a freaking heck of a... Game. What if I said that I would love to see you try and solo this this boss? I would say that's a bad idea, and I'm gonna not be able to do it. Yeah, but like, it's a level 26 vault, and you're level 27, I think... And like I'll I'll be I'll be on the side I'll be watching over you you know like if you need to tap me in but I am at the exit because I don't know oh well then you should have mentioned that. wish you okay. were here well, well you had already gone work. I just fa I literally just found it it was like 40 oh, seconds okay. so I figured I'd just knock it off real quick <laughs> have you old. heard of the twist uh, bounty board I'm covered <laughs> okay let me open the uh, boss screen and see. Ooh. Ooh, I heard that. A couple more things in there for you as well. Oh, 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 that's a lot of rare pluses. Oh, my God. That was a good crate. That was a good crate. Wait, what do you oh, what do you got? There? Add these to your spill as well. Uh, I have never had so much vault gear to roll in my life, even after the treasure room. You want to go first? Here. OK. Oh. Cool, it's not scavenger. Of course not. We need it. Can't wait for the great since, loot we're gonna since, get from ever, us. Ever since I got that bounty, I haven't been in the scav since. Oh, I do like the hit things and they die aspect of the sword. The hit things and they die aspect. Yeah, yeah. Is that like fire aspect, but it's hit them hit things and they die aspect? It's it's death aspect, but uh -huh. um, yeah. Gilded, yay. Uh, nice. Nine hearts. Okay, take my health. You aren't going to use it anyway. Holy fuck. Alters are... <laughs> they're bad. Fairly underwhelming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're... They're disastrously bad. I'm coping so hard on they'll get better loot tables the higher favor you keep value saying we that. have. You I know. I'm... I don't you know if believe. I believe that anymore. You don't believe it? I don't know, man. The altar I just got that had... What what did it have in it? Four raw carbon and two relic packs? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm losing faith in my religion, apparently. Oh, good. That one was an Omega, and because it had an Elytra in it, so. <laughs> Actually, I just got uh, an altar the other day that was epic with an Elytra, so not even oh. that is true. Okay. Well, there was oh, something so you're else not in the chest. Sure, why it was Omega? There was something else in that chest that was considered Omega. What else did you get, Zine? I don't know. I was I. It, 
moved on beyond like that I noticed that and was like I'm leaving bye <laughs> so that's all I got out of it that I was aware of the that's great fair. mysteries of this pack It's it's a mouse so far. I haven't had it long enough to like really give it a review, but um, I uh, certainly it took me like I was I was grumbling pretty heavily because it didn't come with any instructions, and so I couldn't figure out how to like turn down the sensitivity, and it was just crazy fast when I uh -huh. first got it. So now that I've kind of solved that a little bit, it ain't quite so bad. Let me go. Adjusting the new peripherals is always difficult, I feel. New mouse, yeah. keyboard, I like, mouse pad especially. I like that they have the uh, discrete um, versus inertia scrolling. Like, it's really nice for just web pages that you can have that, like, quick scroll, and then you can go back to discrete scroll for on games. Oh, it's a toggle. That's nice. Yeah. I've never actually seen this dungeon before. It's like really, really gnarly Omega. Dang. This is crazy. I got two it's Omegas so from a puzzle room. What a day. That seems like a good day. It is a good day. Good day to you, mate. Good day, mate. Have you guys done mini vaults today? No, nope, this is the second us. one. Congratulations on your Thank you. Thank you. Let's see what's in the box. Yeah. What's in the box? I'm opening my box. I got a oh. sword. I got very little, but I did get a sword. I uh, got an epic plus shield. <clears throat> I got an eternal soul, seven driftwood, two netherite, four essence, and the sword, and that's it. What kind of sword? Uh, level twenty-seven. Past that, I can't. You know, I'm level nineteen. No, no, no. Like what? 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 Oh, scrap gear. Oh. Dang, dude. There's a power play right there. Oh, can't forget my Elytra. I got my Elytra. All right, All right Jordan. I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. Oh, wait, they want to do an Omega predict? Oh, my goodness. What a, what a, what's what's going on here? What's going on? Did you get that from the one? What are you thinking? Did you get that from the one? What are you thinking? X mark room? What do you mean, what am I thinking? I'm thinking that, yeah, that you are my... Uh, Sugar Daddy. Wow. Okay. I was ready to make it a sub sound and everything, and you know what? That's that's good. You know what? That's good enough. I'll take it. Not everybody can yeah. be a little pog champ. I'll, I'll take Sugar Daddy. You are my little pog champ. Yep. That one's going at the uh, text message ringer immediately. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Oh, small raffle. I'm definitely connected, I think. Okay, uh, let's slip into builder mode and do some terraforming. Hell yeah. So I'll save that board. Yeah, I just haven't broken it down yet. Six start. I don't have a on it, do. Was that Ashium that I got zero from?
That is loud as shit coming through my microphone. Or coming through my game capture. Would it be worth building a copious stick for this? Copious is only for the initial break inside of the vault. It's got nothing to do with fortuning it uh, outside of the vault. I guess the nice thing about fortuning this much is that you have no idea if you get scammed or not. Although I'm pretty sure seven pizza knife from five ore and seven escalium from four ore is pretty shit. Thumbnail. Mayhaps. Got 101 gorge tonight, 267 pain night, 2000 Laramar. Oh, 1500. Okay, it's a little bit more reasonable. Four hundo Benny. Bombinite, Xenium, Scallium, Sparkle Teen, Apolline, Ashium, Tubium. It's actually nuts the amount of gems that you allocate at the beginning before really spending them on too much. Okay. Things are moved over. Nice. So now we can actually focus on making this upper section here look good. And now I have to figure out exactly what I want to do about this upper section. Because the idea was I wanted a rather large, just... Because I had too much verticality, I'm not going to have a lot of room for activities, right? So I wanted, like, a larger platform that was mostly flat, or open to some degree, where I could just put a shit ton of stuff down here, like some larger builds. But I feel like until I get this really, like, thought out and done, I don't feel comfortable moving away from this part yet onto other things. Okay, I'm going to see... I, I kind of want to try the peak idea. I'm going to see if maybe we can do, like, some peaks over here... And then try and have, like, the pathway be more toward this direction and keep it smooth on this edge. I'm really trying my hardest to not go into the nether right now and fly to a fucking basalt delta. I hate my life. Check the Giants Causeway on Google is a basalt formation on the coast of Ireland. Good lord. I wanna go there and break my ankle. Columnar basalt is pog. That was post file here in the US. Is that biome and Terra too? What, literally a giant's causeway? Oh, was all cliffs? Alright, let's take a vacation. Oh! Not what I was expecting, I'll be honest with you. Oh, he hits the Elijah hop on the one block. Jesus, this is cool. Savannah Plateau? Wow. That is impressive. It's the opening of a cave here. This is so sick. A nice little, like, hideaway. Jeez. That is very cool. Don't think I'm taking much inspo from it, though. It's an entirely different build than what I'm going for, but I absolutely love this. 
Maybe I made a mistake trying to terraform my own island when Terralith exists in this mod pack, now that I think about it. I think I had a really good cop-out opportunity to just make a base at a pre-gen location and be completely fine. But I decided, no, I'm going to build my own on an island that was generated from 12 years ago. And you know what? I'm completely content with that. I can't deny that Terralith has some sick as fuck builds, though. Oh, you know what? There was one biome that I saw on... Oh, no, no, no. I found it. 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 We do? Oh, shit. I gotta take a look at these. Your generation, I know you're gonna take a while. Oh, yeah. I fucking love this biome. It's so small! It's such a tiny guy! What the hell? They're usually much larger- Well, actually, I don't know if they're usually much larger, but the first one that I went to was huge in comparison. I just wanted to show off it. Dude, but no, for real though, look at how large they could- they can be. Oh my god. That's the rare tree that could potentially spawn there. Very rare chance to include a weeping willow shaped tree. Holy shit. Spawn rate, glow squid, sheep, pig, chicken, cow, and bat. Rare island biome much like the Alpha Islands in the Alpha Islands winter with turquoise grass and tree leaves. Unique trees with stripped warp... That word. Or giant mushrooms can be found on this island. Like the vanilla mushroom islands, no hostile mobs can spawn here. I kind of want to go find another to see if we can spot one with a weeping willow. Or a weeping tree. Yeah, weeping willow. Actual legend. Dude, some of you guys are on it tonight, man. And I appreciate it. Carrying the stream. Okay. There's no feature with type Terralith and Shannon slash Shannon underscore tree. There's a typo? Wait, what's the typo? Oh! <laughs> Enchanted! <laughs> uh. Yo! Finally, after all this time! <laughs> Damn, that looks sick as hell! I didn't think it was going to be literally a block wide. Oh my god, I love the design with the warp stems. What a pitch, man. And that's going to be where we're ended today. Because I'm pretty sure I've streamed like 13 hours total today. Alright! Thank you all for watching a stream. I appreciate it a lot.